everyone, I'm Roger Duber here at the 750 Super Duty. Today I'm getting ready to take you all up for a demo flight. Uh, we've been building the rudder all day and uh, virtual rudder workshop, so I'm going to show you uh, what's involved in the demo flight, uh, what you're going to see if you would have visited here at the factory. Check the controls clear and free, we're in the engine up to 1700 RPM, check each ignition. We're going to add a little bit of flaps for a short takeoff, about half flaps. Doors locked secure, gas is on the fullest tank. Alright, so what we're going to do is on a short takeoff, I'm going to add full brakes, quite a bit of power, stick back about uh, three quarters of the way back, release brakes, nose comes up instantly, and we fly off. And it's going to be about two seconds before lift off. Then we're going to climb out, do some turns, slow flight, power off stall, come and land back in the grass field. Mexico traffic is minimal, 750 Super Duty is going to be departing on the 06, Mexico. Well, we got the stick back, got the brakes on, release. Nose comes up. Those popped off quick there. That was great. Uh, so we're going to do a nice climb, probably 800 feet a minute climb right now. All right, during the demo flight, what I do is I uh, go north of the airport, we'll do some maneuvers, do some turns uh, left and right, and then we'll do some slow flight, and uh, power off stall, come in there, nice landing. You guys have been building the rudder all day, that's a nice thing you can uh, enjoy is going up for a demo flight with me, um, but you're building the rudder at home, so you don't have the opportunity, but you're going to sit here and watch it during the video. That's one of the nice things that we do is uh, we really open our doors to all our customers and uh, give them a tour, uh, double flight. Uh, we're really open to being, being a family. All right, we're going to head out of the airport uh, pattern. It's a nice fall day here in mid-Missouri for a demo flight. So the first thing I like to show during the demo flight is uh, level flight, the stability of the aircraft. So we'll trim it for level flight, hands off, hands off. Very, very stable. And it's just a little bit trim, trim it there. There's trim, hands off. And we got a little bit of bumps today, so it's one to float around a little bit. And we push the stick forward. Comes right back to neutral setting, pull it back, goes back right back to neutral setting. Very positive stability on the aircraft. Uh, we've got a lot of rudder authority. We have a full booting rudder, um, so there's very little rudder input in a turn. We're going to do a turn to the left, and then we're going to do a turn to the right. And we're going to add a little bit of rudder first before the turn. I like to, it's just my preference. And we're going to add the aileron. Now, one of the trademarks of uh, the Zenith is Chris's design of the gold wing. And you can see right over the top of the wing. It's just not like flying a Cessna where uh, you can't see over the top of the wing. And we'll do the one to the right. And we're a nice 45 degree bank turn to the right and roll out right on the head here. There we go. Now we're going to do some slow flight. We're in the flap range, going to lower the flaps, flaps all the way down, which are 15 degrees. 15 degrees, we're going to be in the 30 knot range for the slope flight. That's nice slow flight speed. Hands off, trim it. And we're going to do a power off stall, power off stall, bring the power back. 
and stick all the way back, all the way I can. And there it is. It just develops a high swing rate, about, oh, seven, eight hundred feet a minute climb. And that's how you can land very short. You develop a high sink rate on landing to control that sink rate with power. Now, I've had several customers, if you notice, I've got a, a, a bag in the back. I carry a little bit of weight in the back when I'm flying by myself or just a passenger. Uh, we got such a large envelope, and you're allowed 200 pounds in the back for uh, CG purposes to maintain the CG. So when I'm flying lightly, I like a little bit of weight back there. As you notice on takeoff, I can rotate a lot quicker than I'm landing. I can hold the nose. No, you don't have to have it. I can take it out and fly, but I can just be more, uh, more aggressive with things when I'm doing my jumbo flights. Just I remember flying a car, we used to throw weight in the back a little bit. Uh, cruise speed go about 10 miles an hour faster, putting a little bit of weight in the back baggage if you're by yourself. So same thing, you know, it's just such a large envelope, which is nice. All right, we've done all the maneuvers, and uh, typically I let my customers fly a little bit, give the feel of the hand or the controllers. We got the Y stick here. You can have the dual stick or the single stick, but we have the Y stick. Makes it easier getting in and out. And uh, go ahead, I'll let you fly in a minute if you want. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. How's that? Now do go ahead and do a right turn. Right turn. Ah, not too bad. You have, yeah, it looks like you've flown quite a bit. There you go. Very easy airplane to fly. See? Now let's do one to the left. All right, you're doing a good job. One 45 degree back turn. There you go. Very good. Now, as you notice, you don't have to trim it every time you do a power adjustment or a trim or anything. Isn't that nice? All right, roll out right there. All right, very good. Now, I'll tell you what, why don't we go back in and we'll do an uh, off-field landing. Uh, typically, uh, we'll do a grass landing, but we've got some nice cut bean fields. And maybe we'll do a touch and go and come back and land in the grass later. Sound good to you guys? All right. Now, we got the, to land off-field, we've got these 26-inch uh, 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 tires. And uh, the nose wheel is, uh, I think it's 8 by 6 uh, we've got the prop uh, probably about 13, 14 inches off the ground. The advantage of flying uh, the Super Duty tricycle over some of the tail drivers is uh, you don't have to really pay attention too much of a, a crosswind like you do then. Uh, you know, it's, it's very maneuverable, very easy to handle on heavy winds. Uh, the nose wheel will stay off the ground quite a bit. It's just a matter of how far you want to pull back the stick and if you want to keep adding power. Mexico traffic, spare is going to get on the left end one for 06 Mexico. Alright, we're going to set up for uh, off-field landing. So typically if I'm going off-field landing, I might do two or three passes at the, at the strip, make sure that there's no water, no ruts, uh, no debris, maybe no deer, you know, make sure the deer are off of it. This time of the year there's a lot of, a lot of animals. So, uh, you know, don't try to always land the first time. You always want to, you know, fly several times to make sure that the strip is uh, ideal for your for your pilot skills. All right, everything's set up for landing. Start deploying the flaps. And we're going to Mexico traffic space the final for Mexico. And probably what we're going to do is we're just going to do a touch and go. We'll uh, really get the main wheels on the ground so you can tell, and then we'll just add power and keep on going around. Now, we haven't landed here before, so we're going to really look and see if there's any ruts or any low spots. Uh, oh, there's a bird right there. we got to watch out for birds. Sometimes that's is in the way. And nicely cut beat filled. And you know, we got plenty of room, plenty of uh, plenty of room for a short landing and everything, but uh, you still gotta keep your head out of the cockpit. There it is. Nice to land on the boat field. And we're gonna add power. And what you can do is you can do solo take off the landings and just keep the mains on there once you learn the aircraft and feel how it is before you set that nose on the ground. All right, well, I think, guys, we need to head back to the workshop and finish that rudder. You know, it's not going to get done staying up here in the air, so we're going to 
head back and uh, finish that rudder today. Thanks, guys. There's runway 18, and we're going to slide over to the left side and land in the grass. So we're down at the flap range. We're going to add a little bit of flaps, a bit shorter approach, going to add the rest of them. We have flaps all the way down. And get lined up here. I can tell I got a little bit of crosswind from the southeast. the land really short, what you want to do is you want to come in as slow as you can, but a little bit of power, and when you get ready to touch down, start bringing the nose up and adding just a little bit of power to stop that forward momentum. And reduce the power. Now I'm going to add it just a second. I got two landings out of that one. If I keep the stick, see, I keep that power, keep the nose up. Fun airplane, you can have a lot of fun doing different kinds of maneuvers.